This is Michael Wilson. We want to talk about the leftists and why they need to repent and why they owe us apologies. So the scriptural background of this is bearing false witness is mentioned many times in the Bible exclusively as something that is bad. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor is the ninth out of the 10 commandments that Moses brought back from, from uh, with him from his encounter with God on Mount Sinai. So imagine this, one out of the 10 really big things that God commands us is not to bear false witness. And yet it happens every day. And so false witness or spreading a false report is associated with being allied with the wicked, willing to do violence to others, and sowing discord among their brothers. The Bible calls bearing false witness lying and compares a man who bears false witness against his neighbor to a violent weapon. Lies harm people, and that is the intent. So a false witness is one who stands up and swears before others that something untrue is true, especially with the intention of hurting someone else or ruining their reputation. So, for example, when you say you're a racist and someone says, well, why do you say that? Because you're white. <laughs> That's not true. And it's bearing false witness. Now, this happened to David, Jesus, Stephen, when the wicked queen Jezebel wished to procure a vineyard for her sulking husband, King Ahab, she employed two false witnesses. Naboth, the rightful owner of the vineyard, was seated in an honorable place on a day of fasting. But then two scoundrels came and sat opposite him and brought charges against Naboth before the people, saying, Naboth has cursed both God and the king. So they took him out city, outside the city and they stoned him to death. What the scoundrels said against Naboth was absolutely untrue. They were bearing false witness with impunity and with the queen's blessing. As a result, an innocent man, man will get killed. And today we're having innocent people being killed, fire, fired from their jobs, slandered in the media, and it's despicable. So bearing false witness is a very common weapon. Now it's used by both political parties but it seems like more and more is used by only one. So we have this from John Zimerick from The Stream. He, he's a great uh, writer and has some really uh, fabulous insights. His observation is that there's nothing more fun than bearing false witness against your neighbor. In fact, it is so enticing that God devoted one entire commandment to thou shalt not in it. Now, he says, I wonder how many of these volunteer pawns on the Democrats' chessboard have stepped back and reassessed themselves as the lies they gladly repeated and lent public credence fell apart in daylight's glare. So, Rod, his example is Rod Dreher might as well have endorsed Hillary Clinton when he told Christian conservatives mere months before the 2016 election to give up failed culture war strategies like voting Republican. He did his best to help Joe Biden in 2019 as he spoke out more than 3,000 words insisting that Do Donald Trump had unleashed literal demons of racism by mocking left-wing Islamists like ungrateful immigrant Ilhan Omar. He compared Trump's movement to lynch bombs and the Nazis. But hey, go ahead and vote your conscience, he said. So we see these examples. And again, John observes, do any of these Christians who nuzzle mammon for milk bones and fetch Caesar slippers reflect on the commandment they're breaking? The real world damage they do when they flippantly throw the racism fragmentation grenade into a crowd of, of Trump supporters 
do they realize, don't they, that this is the single most damaging charge you can make someone against someone these days? It overtook child molesters sometimes around 2016. It gets people fired, people with families to feed. And that's horrific. So the call, regardless of your politics, is if you're bearing false witness against someone else, repentance is what is required. And that's between them and God. If not, then their guilt will hound them on judgment day. It surely is unrepented adultery, theft, or murder. The attempt to kill someone's good name based on vague or uncertain evidence or simple gossip is something our God takes very seriously.